Now let us discuss about uh, heart sounds. First we will begin with the first heart sound. The first heart sound is loud and the duration is approximately 0.14 seconds and it is 30 hertz. And this first heart sound is mainly seen because of uh, closure of atrioventricular valves especially during isovolumetric contraction period of the cardiac cycle. Next is the second heart sound. Second heart sound is soft in nature when compared to that of the first heart sound and the duration is 0.12 seconds and the intensity if you see is 50 hertz and it is mainly because of the closure of semilunar valves. And next is the third heart sound. The third heart sound is mainly seen during rapid filling phase of the cardiac cycle. The reason we can say that it is mainly due to rapid filling of the blood into the ventricles and this filling actually responsible for a vibrations which are created in the cord tendony that is responsible for the development of third heart sound. And the duration is 0.1 second. And the frequency of third heart sound is very low and it is not generally audible by means of stethoscope like first as well as second heart sound. And the prominent third heart sound which is more commonly seen in pathological conditions like atrial septal defect, ventricular septal defect and physiologically third heart sound can be like uh, audible in athletes and also in uh, pathological condition like left ventricular failure and next was the fourth heart zone. The fourth heart zone is mainly seen during lost rapid filling phase or the last phase of the ventricular diastole. We know that the last phase of the ventricular diastole is the atrial systole. So fourth heart zone is mainly produced because of atrial systole and the duration is 0.1 second and the intensity if you see here is less than 20 hertz and more commonly it is audible in conditions like uh, aortic stenosis, hypertension and hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy and this is what is about uh, heart sounds. Few important high yield points in cardiovascular physiology. Exercise is the one which increases heart rate and decreases the overall duration of the cardiac cycle. During cardiac cycle, mitral as well as aortic valve never open at the same time. Semilunar valves close mainly during isovolumetric relaxation and open during isovolumetric contraction, where in both the blood volume remains same. Maximum motion of the heart in cardiac imaging is seen during mid diastolic phase of the cardiac cycle and the maximum rise of the ventricular pressure is mainly seen during isovolumetric contraction of the cardiac cycle and a minimum oxygen consumption is seen during isovolumetric contraction period but the maximum ventricular pressure is seen in rapid ejection phase. Maximum aortic pressure is seen in slow ejection phase but not in the rapid ejection phase. And volume determined preload is called as end diastolic volume of the ventricles. So the volume determining preload that is EDV is equal to 130 ml. So it is approximately between 120 to 130 ml but for today's class let us remember that it is 130 ml. So out of the end diastolic volume the amount of the blood which is ejected is called as ejection fraction. So the stroke volume, the amount of the blood which is ejected by the ventricle per beat is 70 ml in normal individuals, but it is approximately considered to be 70 to 90 ml. Next is the end systolic volume. End systolic volume can be calculated as end diastolic volume minus stroke volume. We know that the end diastolic volume is 130 ml and the stroke volume is 70 ml. So 130 minus 70 is the 60 ml. So 60 ml is the end systolic volume and normal ranges are from 50 to 60 ml is the end systolic volume. And what is the ejection fraction? 
ejection fraction can be calculated as stroke volume that is 70 ml divided by end diastolic volume that is 130 ml which is equal to that of 65 percent so approximately the normal ejection fraction generally we will say is greater than 55 percent but in general in normal individuals we will call it as 65 percent so these are the important high points what you need to know in cardiovascular physiology